Hello everyone, what's up? Today I wanted to tell you a bit about the Nimbus Clock, the neuron that's currently being tested on the PvE server. So, the Nimbus Clock rune is about to replace the ultimate hat rune in the sorcery tree, in the upper tree. So, don't worry, the ultimate hat will be probably in a different form in the domination tree, so it will make the domination tree a bit more interesting and a good possibly a good second option for some mages that it really wasn't before. So, how the Nimbus Cloak works? Basically, Nimbus Cloak gives you 100 movement speed after you cast your ultimate. But then you may be wondering, how does it interact with champions that have ultimate at level 1? So I'm gonna tell you everything in this video. So we're gonna start with a queen. As you can guess, you can use your ultimate, and as you saw, you can use your ultimate and get your movement speed. But if your Nimbus Cloak is already on cooldown, you can actually still get your movement speed when you reactivate this ability. So in Queen's case, you can either get the bonus movement speed as you cast your ult and become a Valor, or as you go out of the Valor form and become the normal Queen again. So those are two options. So for example, you can see here, I spawned with as my bird already. So I didn't consume my Nimbus Cloak, but once I'm gonna hit Raptors, you can see I'm getting the bonus movement speed. The bad thing about Nimbus Cloak is that when you channel your ultimate, you actually, it actually takes you like 3 seconds, so your Nimbus Cloak is basically wasted when you channel that, because it gives you the extra movement speed as you are charging, so it's not very great on Queen. Here, another try on Odir. As you can see, the Odir Nimbus Cloak was replaced with the Nullifying God. So the issue I have with the Nimbus Rune is that I think it will suck on most champions, but I'll try to explain it later in the video with other examples. So when Nimbus Cloak was originally made, it had 25 seconds cooldown, but then later in the PBE they actually changed that to 60 seconds. I still think it's completely garbage on most of the champions that have a lot of cooldown on their ultimates, but yeah. Let's go to the next champion, Hogmo. This is the first champion that I thought about when I saw this rune. What's important to note is that to proc your Nimbus Cloak, you just need to cast your ultimate. You don't need to hit anyone, so all you need to do is just cast it. As you know, Kogmo can pretty much spam his ultimate, so imagine you're running away or you want to engage on someone, you cast your ultimate and then you get bonus movement speed. It can be good, for example, at escaping ganks. If you have the Nimbus Cloak up, someone's ganking you, you ult anywhere and then you get bonus movement speed to possibly escape. It was really good with 25 seconds cooldown, because you could, for example, go the second tree sorcery, getting the Gathering Storm, and then this, Nimbus Cloak, but then they nerfed it to 60 seconds. I think it still can be viable and possibly good option for Kogmo, but we have to see how do they develop this Nimbus Cloak rune later on in the PvE. And here comes my problem with this new rune, instead of the ultimate hat. So, you have this line, in the sorcery tree that has nullifying orb, that has mana flow band, and that also has this nimbus cloak. So imagine if you play Mordekaiser, you don't get mana, so you can have the mana flow band. Imagine if you play versus AD, so nullifying orb will be useless for you. And then your ultimate has a huge cooldown, and as you're gonna see in this clip right now, you cannot actually proc the nimbus cloak by just having the ghost and moving it. So, you actually can only do that by casting your ghost. So imagine you cast your ultimate, you have dragon for 3 minutes, but all this time you cannot proc your Nimbus Cloak, so it's essentially useless for Mordekaiser. So another champion that can suck with this rune, in my opinion, is Ryze. They plan to change his ultimate to have 5 minute cooldown, but have longer range. This is likely to come in one of the newer patches, so... Imagine you have 5 minute cooldown on your ultimate, you cast your ultimate, but most likely you still want to be within its range, so it's pretty much almost a wasted run for you. Fortunately, you can still go the mana flow band and it's not worthless on Rise. So let's go to another champion that, in my opinion, is also very bad with Nimbus Cloak, and this is Sion, and that's also gonna stand for Clad. So, check it out. Once I am about to cast the Sion's ult, you can see my Nimbus Cloak actually pops, pops now, and what am I gonna do with this? 90% of the time you're not gonna cancel your ult after 0 and a half second, so this rune is gonna be essentially worthless on you. 
So the only option to use it would be just like this. So you all you cancel your load and then you get your Nimbus cloak. So that's not that bad, but there is no point in doing that basically. So another example is Clef. Pretty much it has the same issue that ha Scion has. So you basically old you're gonna ramp up slightly faster but when it doesn't really matter anymore and your Nimbus Cloak is essentially worth it. So let's see another champion interacting with Nimbus Cloak and we're gonna try Jin. As you can imagine Jin and Zeraf both basically ground themselves for their ultimates. So how would the Nimbus Cloak work on Jin? Well, it's actually bugged and Nimbus Cloak doesn't work on Jin at all. It isn't replaced by any other rune and it doesn't work. So that's fun. Well, like, why would the rune work at all, right? So, you may be wondering, how does this work for Zeraf? So, to my surprise, on Zeraf, this rune actually works. So, as you can see right now, I'm casting some ultimate chargers, and once I am done with that, it basically procs it. So, it's not as awful, but as you can imagine, it's essentially not very good as well. So, another champion I was curious about how it's gonna work with was the Malzahar. So once you use your ultimate, your Nimbus Cloak doesn't proc right away, it procs after you finish your ultimate. So it's not that bad in the end, but I think it would be better to get something to speed you up before your ult. That's what Malzahars need to do. And after ult, maybe, but I still think Mana Flow Band can be better on Malzahar. But it's at least not worthless interaction like, for example, in Jin's case. It doesn't work at all. Or maybe in Sion's case. So let's actually look at some positive interactions. So, as you know, Jace, Elise or Nidalee can use their ultimates up level 1. And you guessed that right, you can actually proc your Nimbus Cloak at level 1. Here you can see the Jace running around. I managed to proc the Nimbus Cloak on level 1. No problem, let's fast forward to show you that again. Doesn't matter which way you transform, you can still get your Nimbus Cloak procced at level 1. So this is really nice and can be potentially used, I don't know. But let's go to another example that is similar to Jace and this is Nidalee. So as you can imagine, if it works with Jace, it also does work with Nidalee. So here I'm setting up some dummies in the top lane. So you can either use Nidalee to escape the gank. Imagine like you're getting ganked. You are, let's say you are level 3, which is pretty likely you are getting ganked. Then you just transfer to your cougar form, you hop out, which gives you more movement speed, you get the 100 bonus movement speed, and you are even faster. So it's really nice as potentially escaping the ganks, but what you can also use it for is you can use it for ganking. So you gank as human form, you toss your javelin for example, and then you transform to cougar form, and then you can actually get easier in the range. So I personally think that Nidalee may be one of the good users of this Nimbus Cloak rune if it actually goes through. And it's super beneficial that you can actually use it at level 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So casting Anis Tibers obviously gives you the movement speed boost from the Nimbus Cloak, but when you just move Tibers around and you actually have the Nimbus Cloak on cooldown, you won't be able to proc that. So there is no way for you to proc it this way. Remember that the fact that Nimbus rune gives you 100 movement speed doesn't mean you will actually get 100 movement speed because you get diminishing returns from the movement speed in League of Legends. For example, if you have 300 movement speed, sure, you will get 400 movement speed, but imagine you have over 400 movement speed and when your Nimbus cloak procs, you actually may get just around 70 movement speed. So the more movement speed you have, the less movement speed you will get from Nimbus cloak. So I think it doesn't really solve the issue in this sorcery tree line because the ultimate hat was actually usable by most champions. Most champions in game have like 2 minutes on their ultimates or 3 minutes on their ultimates. And when you change that you essentially make the champion pool that can use this rune very narrow. Like I cannot imagine more than like 20-30 champions being able to use that. And before the ultimate hat was useful on probably over 100 champions. So. Keep in mind this rune can actually be changed, but it's pretty likely this rune will actually make it to the life servers in this form or another. Maybe they will just change the cooldown like they did before, who knows. So yeah, thank you a lot for watching guys, take care and have a good day.